I was a bum. I smoked weed every single day. I was drinking three days a week, just going out, be, being a being a loser, plain and simple, like playing video games, fucking off, not doing anything of meaning in my life. So if I were to ask you that question, do you think that guy would get the girl he wants? No. So if you look at your own life and, and you're doing all this shit, like fucking off, you know, not disciplined, not going to the gym, not eating clean, like no shit, bro. You're not getting the woman you want. Plain and simple. Like for me, when I got the girl I got now, and we've been together four years now, I started to change those attributes that I would define as a great man. I started pursuing them. And I'm not sitting here claiming to be a great man. That's not the case. But I pursue those attributes and I get as close as I possibly can. I fuck up. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I'm human, dude. I mess up all the time but I correct and I make the goal to get 1% better daily. I focus on the things I can to, to meet that criteria. And by default, that's how I got her. When you're pursuing this, you know, that, that's how she's in my life. When, when you're pursuing the best version of yourself and you're just sprinting, right? You're relentlessly pursuing that goal. And then you look to your left, all of a sudden, the, the girl you thought you could get and the girl you can now is completely different because you've changed. That's, that's how I view it, man. You, you, you got to level up plain and simple. If you're the same as everyone else going out, messing around, you know, not wanting more in life, just kind of status quo being mediocre. Like you're just going to get the, the, the same thing as everyone else. You know, she has been incredible in my life, been a part of me on the craziest journeys, but it wasn't always that way, dude. I, I, I was a loser, dude. Plain and simple. Just an absolute reject. I dropped out of college. Had 60000 in debt. Worked at a factory 12-hour shifts. But I was pursuing something more. I was getting my license in real estate. I, I was studying the game. I was reading. I was slowly but surely subtracting these just terrible habits from my life. And adding in good ones. And she saw that. That's why. That's why I view this as you know, investors in businesses, women are the investor, right? They, they look at a guy and they say, okay, what does he have going in his life? And what is he pursuing? Does he want the same thing as everyone else? Is he in the same shape as everyone else? Does he take care of himself? Is he positive? Is he, is he a person that other people would want to be around? that's how they view you. Like as that business, they, they, they check out your criteria. And, you know, if your criteria is a good, you're not, you're not going to get good woman, plain and simple. So if you want to attract her, whatever that girl is in your life that you're trying to go for, change who you are, become better, plain and simple. Start going to the gym, you know, start working on yourself, start reading, start learning, start pursuing more, but be authentic to yourself. If that's not you, like, like if you just want the same shit as everyone else, cool. That, that's, that's you. But you need to be you. You need to be authentic. You need to be unapologetically yourself. Like I always knew I wanted more in this life. I always knew I wanted to be in good shape. I didn't want to be fat. I always knew I wanted to make good money. And I want to have great friends in my life. And a great woman. And to take care of my family. And when you start chasing, pursuing, and even realizing those things, she comes along. She came before I was making $20,000 a month, before I lived in the nice house out in California, in LA, before I took the risk to start this new business here in Florida. Like she was along before that and she's been fucking shotgun rider this whole time. And I'm thankful for that and realize you can do the same exact thing, but you got to change who you are as an individual. You got to level up, man. You, you, like you, you fall into this trap that all these influencers set that, you know, you just got to, you got to have Riz. You got to, you know, have good one-liners. You got to be good at text. You got to ignore her. Don't give her too much attention. No, bro. That's a front. That's a facade. That's not you. That's not who you are. And they can see right through that shit. You got to be you. Plain and simple. You got, you got to be the, the man that you admire. You got to be actively pursuing that guy. And then all of a sudden, she will come along in your life. Control the controllables. Don't be so desperate too, dude. Like, don't be 
this freaking guy that like, oh, oh, dude, I got to get on Hinge. I got to get on Tinder. See what the girls are up. Like, no, bro, you, you don't have to do that. Like you can play the field. You can work on you. And then all of a sudden you just see these people just pop up in your life by default because you're pursuing some real shit. You're leveling up. You're chasing greatness. Then all of a sudden they see that the business that's growing, the investors want to buy it. That's the woman. That's how you attract them. Don't buy into all this hype, dude, that, you know, you, you got to follow this like rule book guy. Don't text her twice. Like all this shit. Th those are cool principles, whatever it is. But I mean, at the end of the day, man, you got to be you. You got to love yourself. And if, if you don't, if that self-love isn't really there, then you, then you got to work on it, man. You got to start going to the gym, start taking care of yourself, start eating clean, start doing all the right stuff, right? Create that list of great. What is a great man to you? And then start ticking off the boxes. He goes to the gym. He eats clean. He's disciplined. He's resilient. He's tough. He's not too emotional. He's positive. He's forward thinking. Start ticking those boxes. That's my rant. And uh, the purpose of this is, is talk to my former self. If I could go back four years from now, talk to a previous version of myself, this is what I would have sold him. So stay focused. Stay in your commitments. The community, it's going to be in the link in the description. It is still free until we get to 50 members. And I mean, yeah, man, just stay in your stuff. My Instagram will be down below too if you guys want to shoot me a follow. And I'll see you in the next one.